Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing a Wiggy sleeping bag. The bag I took with me on Alone Season 4. Did I like it? Stay tuned. So, if you're new to this channel, maybe you don't know, but my husband Dave and I were on Alone Season 4 on the History Channel that just finished airing last August. It was really important to take the right sleeping bag. So I did a lot of research before I went because the sleeping bag is one of the most important things you can take out there. And I decided on taking a Wiggies bag. Now, Wiggies is a small company. I believe they only have offices in Colorado and Alaska. I chose this Wiggies bag because it was heavy. This is a five pound synthetic fill bag. Now what the fill is is called Lamolite. So the idea is that you can compress it but it'll bounce back and still perform for you in a wet environment, which was going to be really super important for being on Vancouver Island, of course. The interesting thing about this bag, couple couple interesting things. So I ordered the regular length bag, which I'm only 5'4" and it still ha was a little bit too big for me. Um, it's got what they call, you can order the regular foot, or they call this the boat foot. So I ordered the boat foot, the idea being the lamellite kind of gathers around itself more. At the bottom, it's supposed to give you more insulation in your feet. Well, actually, my feet reach about right there. So it, it wasn't that effective for me personally. I ended up taking some paracord and banding this bag so right down in here so it would be a little tighter around my legs and my feet to keep my feet warmer. I run really cold and it did help keep my feet a little warmer. Now this bag is rated for 20 below. What is a really interesting design with this bag is that it's heavier on the top than on the bottom. So the insulation on the bottom is less and it's heavier on the top. Now that appealed to me because I like the feeling of something heavy on top of me. Only problem being, as everybody knows, you really need that bottom insulation to keep you warm. Uh, but I didn't mind this bag. We ended up putting a lot of cedar and hemlock underneath of us on our bunks to give us insulation. Um, and there were definitely nights that I was really, really cold. We ended up being on Vancouver Island for 49 days, so this bag got a real heavy workout. So what are my thoughts? Overall, the synthetic insulation for that particular trip and adventure, really important, and it did keep me dry. It did work. It did keep me dry and warm when I needed to be dry and warm. I think that, that it is a flaw to have this bag be thinner on the back than on the top, but I did like the feeling of it being a little heavier on top. The inside looks like this. It's just silver and the outside is black. There's the Wiggies label. It's made in the US. I do really like that feature. So when you're in this bag and you're laid out, you notice that it doesn't have a very big hood system at all. Now this is what I want to talk about. All it has here around the top of the bag is a drawstring. Just one of those toggles like you found on every other hood in your entire life. So what that means is you loosen up the toggle and basically you have a flat surface sleeping bag. I thought this would be okay. This ended up being the thing I hated about this bag. In order to get it to snug up around your face, you have to pull this loop and keep pulling and keep pulling and keep pulling. What you end up with is something that looks like this. So what I found out with this system is I didn't like it at all. It did not keep my head and my face warm and it did not provide enough material this way around the front of your face so you can snuggle in like a regular hooded mummy bag. So let me show you what that looks like. So you get in this bag 
and you zip it up. Now you can see how much space is around my head if my dog will get out of the way. So here I am in my bag, and if I want to have this come up around my head and be cozy, you got to pull on this toggle and this drawstring. So you pull it up. Just inch this up. Oh, dog breath. Maisie, go. <laughs> so you can see with this zipped up, it's, for one thing, the drawstring is right against my forehead and it's not very comfortable. And if I want to cinch it up even more, I just still have this open space. Oh man, it's a static nightmare now. So what are my final thoughts on this Wiggies bag? It did the job for us for 49 days on Vancouver Island, but I would have liked a better hood system. And for me personally, I needed a little bit smaller bag, but it ended up working out okay. I, I did stay fairly warm. I would recommend this bag only if you're gonna be able to deal with this hood. Otherwise, a good bag, made in the US. I'm not gonna hang on to mine though, and I'm gonna sell it on eBay. So if you're interested in the next week, one that's gonna be up for sale. If you'd like to try this out, it's a good chance to get one for cheaper than they are new, which I believe I spent about 250 on this bag. So it's not incredibly expensive. I think it's a good bargain. And know that it, it's five pounds. It does come with a compression sack and you can get it down pretty good. When you're not using it, you wanna store it not so tightly packed so you won't mess up the insulation long term. And there you have it. Tell me your thoughts. Do you like these Wiggy bags? Have you ever had one? What's your favorite sleeping bag for both synthetic and down? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. As always, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Love to have you join us. This is Girl in the Woods, Brooke Whipple. See you next time. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy.